Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm in another fun collaboration called Let's Go Camping DIY Decor Challenge. It is hosted by Megan with The Crafty Quinn and Adrian with Full Time DIY Mommy. I will list their channels in the description box below. I would love it if you guys could go take a look at their channels. And so again, this is about camping a little bit more out of my comfort zone, but I love camping in general. And I thought what a fun challenge just to create some inspirational pieces that remind me of camping. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's begin. So I'm going to share with you five DIYs and you'll see at the very end the great reveal, let's say, um, just because they all go together uh, on a tear tray. Well, that's how I am going to display them. So let's begin. So DIY number one, just taking that Christmas tree that I got from the Dollar Tree at Christmas. I used it in a Valentine's Day decor DIY, I had some hearts on it. So I just removed those and I had those little mini trees as well remember the one I bleached them and painted them pink I can leave that video in the description box below as well so I just wanted to do the same thing with the big tree and here you go you see it all together so I just wanted to create the same base on the pink tree so I'm just using these wood discs that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to paint it with some deco art in gold and I just got Craig to drill a hole in the center for me and I all I did was hot glue the tree in the hole and here it is all done this is the super simplest DIY <laughs> so DIY number two just taking this four by four canvas from the Dollar Tree I already took off the backing and I'm just going to give it two coats of white paint I didn't show you because you guys know how to paint I'm pretty sure so I just had this really cute tree scrapbook paper from the Michaels value packs I held them at uh, Christmas and you'll probably notice now I'm making it more of a pink camping theme I thought it'd just be more girly and fun <laughs> so just cut out the shape and I'm just using my glue stick from the Dollar Tree and placing it on the frame easy peasy and that is it in the end I actually did give it a dry brush with the antique wax in Waverly you'll see at the very end but yes it's super cute just like that DIY number three. Okay, guys, this is funny. I've had this pack for a little while. I did like a waxing course um, just to do underarm waxing or eyebrow waxing. Never did it afterwards. So I had all these little um, extra popsicle sticks. So I'm going to just use those. Again, I already had them on hand. They're wood. Great for a lot of DIYs. So I'm going to attempt to make a tent here so i'm making two uh sections one for the front of the tent and one for the back of the tent i'm just making sure that both are even on both sides And now I'm just gonna take the fifth popsicle stick and I'm just gonna add it to the top of the triangles. This way I can add some paper over top of it. You'll see in just a second how I'm going to form this tent and everything is just used with hot glue. So this paper came from the same pack as the trees. I could have used the trees as the tent pattern, but I just liked this one because it definitely reminded me of like the Coleman Buffalo plaid red. So anyway, it's pink, but it goes well with my theme. Just using my Fiskars cutter and I'm just measuring out the exact size that I need and I'm gonna fold it in two so that way it goes over the triangle here as you see right now. Before I glued the paper on, I just stained the tent base with some of the Waverly Antique Wax. And so here I'm just measuring it out. I'm gonna use some hot glue just to seal the paper and the sticks together. Now, I, I could have kept it like this, but I just thought it'd be better just to add a floor to the tent. So I'm just using some more of the scrapbook paper and hot gluing them on the bottom. 
So before we move on to the next DIY, just a little bit about myself if you are new to my channel. Here is where I love to do haul videos. I love to do really easy home decor DIY videos. A lot of my materials do come from the Dollar Tree or the Dollarama. And a lot of the theme is farmhouse, trash to treasure, and I love doing boho as well. So if you like that kind of content, you're definitely in the right spot. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so let's go with the next DIY. So DIY number four. One of my good friends, Robin with Bird's Nest, sent me these awesome wood pieces from Mother Nature. Thank you. And so I'm just going to incorporate these into my DIYs as well. So I'm just removing some of the bark from one of the slices and I'm hot gluing it together. And I'm just using one of my tea lights that I already had on hand. And you might kind of guess what I'm doing here. I'm just making a little fire. So using more of those waxing sticks, I'm just cutting out a whole bunch, probably at least 10 of them. And I just measured how like the length that I wanted them. And I'm just going to roughen up the edges just a little bit. Be careful, this can get sharp if you are making them pointy like I am. So all I'm gonna do now is um, stain them with the Antique Wax by Waverly. And now that they're all dried, I'm just going to hot glue them to the inside of the bark. this is it for DIY number four. Super simple. I could have painted them orange or pink. I just left them like that. So fifth and final DIY, I thought I'd make a really cute marshmallow skewer. I already had this floral wire on hand. I got this, I'm telling you, two years ago from the Dollar Tree and I, it's still going strong. I actually made a macrame moon with this floral wire. I will show you a picture right now. This wire will go a long way, guys. So what I'm going to do is create the fork part of the skewer, and then I'm going to twine it around and make the base of the skewer. So just watch what I'm doing. It's harder to explain. It's easier to watch, harder to explain. <laughs> Here you just see me tightening the base to the fork with my needle nose pliers. So I have no idea where these pliers came from or what brand they are. My uncle gave me a toolbox. I'm telling you, I was like in my early 20s when I first moved out of my parents' house. It was awesome. But I love the fact that it is a needle nose plier and a wire cutter in one. I'm sure you can get them Amazon, Home Depot, you name it. So now that I formed my fork, I'm just taking some of the Waverly chalk paint and ballet slipper and I'm just giving it one coat of paint. So now that it's dry, guys, I just bought these marshmallows from the Dollar Tree. They're the mini marshmallows <laughs> and they just fit so perfectly on this skewer. How cute is that so far, guys? I made my own marshmallow skewer. <laughs> So we are coming to the end of the video. Remember guys, this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I love a good challenge and I was able to think outside the box. So here is everything put together. I was trying to go, like I said, on a pink theme here, a little bit more of a feminine camping trip. <laughs> and remember, please go ahead and follow the host of this challenge, Megan with the Crafty Quinn and Adrian with Full Time DIY Mummy. I'm also gonna leave the link to the playlist in the description box so go ahead and take a look there are some other phenomenal crafters there as well and remember to follow me also on instagram there is where i also post some other really fun uh videos and um i'm also part of some dollar tree tours as well so please go ahead and say hi to me over there remember to hit that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up if you liked what you see and i will see you guys at the next video. I do have another collab tomorrow, so stay tuned.